Wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <sighs> this branch. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Everblossom. Lady Emma spoke of it once. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that was brought over from the Divine Realm by Lord Takeru. It once bloomed behind this castle. However, when a branch was cut off and the flowers taken, the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So this is that branch? Yes, I believe so. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes, that's right, Wolf. I must remain vigilant. Wolf, I've made progress. I'm sure this is the last ingredient for the aroma. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes, it is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, in Lord Genichiro's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. And it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. There is something I'd like to ask. Yes, what is it? Can the divine heir be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine heir is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine heir's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. The mortal blade. Yes, here you are. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the Divine Heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. My lord, I have procured the flower for the Fountainhead Aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the Sunken Valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. Wolf. That sword on your back. Is it? It is the mortal blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes. It was given to me by the Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters at Sempo Temple. The Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, Divine Children? Yes. Many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. This should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma. Wolf, burn the incense. As you wish. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but... Close your eyes. Yes. 
my lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How was the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Hmm. So this is the Fountainhead Incense. It's so extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering. That was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. We're almost there. Yes, do what must be done. Hmm. must do what must be done. Mm -hmm. That is what the Divine Heir said. He must be hiding something. I see. Uh, what is it? Lord Takeru spoke of beheading in his memoirs. Yes. Perhaps the act of beheading was the means to end immortality, along with the life of the Divine Heir. What? If you walk the path of immortal severance, then you must use the mortal blade to... End my lord's life. Yes. Lord Kuro desires immortal severance. I understand that. I do. And yet... Master Wolf, might there be a path where Lord Kuro need not lose his life? The dragon's heritage is no ordinary power. There could be such a path. Well then, Master Wolf, I ask that you help me find such a path. A path where Lord Kuro need not die. I will not let my lord die. Thank you. We must find a starting point. Yes. <sighs> oh. Yes. Lady Tomoy's. Master Wolf, I might have a place to start. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I find something. Thank you. Also... We may want to keep this from the divine air. Yes. Master Wolf, I've found something. Here. Purification? Yes. It says here, there is a way to cut the ties of the dragon's blood and transform its owner into a regular human being. The process requires a flower from the Everblossom, as I told you once before. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that Lord Takeru brought here from the Divine Realm. However, someone cut a branch from the tree and stole the flowers, and the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So the Everblossom tree has been entirely lost. If the tree itself no longer exists, the flowers don't exist either. Correct. But the branch that was stolen did have flowers on it. So if it could be found... Is this the branch from the Everblossom tree? It was... 
in my father's possession. Master Owl, but there are no flowers on this branch. Hmm. What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just trying to remember back to when the Everblossom still flourished. But try as I might, the memory is hazy. Their graves. What? I think I'll pay a visit to Lord Takeru and Lady Tomoe's graves. That's where the Everblossom once grew. Something might come back to me. Master Wolf, how long have you been there? Have you remembered anything? Uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Nothing? That's right, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to remember anything significant. Perhaps one of my old friends can help. I'll meet with Orangutan at his temple. Orangutan? Yes. It's the sculptor's old nickname. Back then, Lord Genichiro and I would come here a lot. Lord Takeru would play the flute, and Lady Tomoe would dance under the Everblossom. It was a wonderful sight. Perhaps one of my old friends has some memories of those days. I'll speak with Orangutan at his temple. their goal of immortal severance. Either he or Lord Kuro must die. Why does that have to be the only way? So will you keep that from them? But Orangutan, if I give this to him, 
He's going to die. Oh, you're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. One of us must die. <sighs> what did that mean? Were you listening this whole time? Tell me. Uh, I saw it that day beneath the branches of the Everblossom tree. Lady Tomoe tried to commit suicide. Why? She said those made immortal by the oath of the dragon's heritage shackle their masters. So in order for the purification to occur, the oath-bound of the dragon's heritage must die? Yes, precisely. But she was unable to achieve the purification. Correct. She did not have the mortal blade. Hmm. I don't want to lose Lord Kuro, or you, but all paths are leading to dead ends. What are you hiding? Uh, so, you overheard. Tell me. <sighs> Do what must be done. I will live by those words, as my master does. Here. Is this a bell? It fell off Owl's dead body, if I'm not mistaken. You and Master Owl have a deep connection. Should you offer it to Buddha, it may be a different experience than the one you had before. I will try it. I am not sure what memories you will see, but the bell belonged to Master Owl. So please, take care. Goodbye, Master Wolf.